around yesterday reaching around 693, softening slightly towards the end of trade, and it's uh, trading around 698 this morning. And a lot of factors, I suppose, pulling and pushing that currency because we had a firmer gold price yesterday, but it looks like those uh, oil price worries are also weighing on the currency this morning. Um, yes, indeed. The RAND main, maintained a firmer bias yesterday on the back of the fact that the SAPMI data showed that the local manufacturing sector continues to recover. However, for the second consecutive trading session, RAND bulls fell to breach 692 to the downside. Um, additionally, we are seeing that uh, the RAND is closely linked to euro dollar movement, so it's hardly surprising that the stalling of the RAND strength um, coincided with euro bulls failing to breach 1.386 to the top side. Um, we expect the RAND to trade in a range of about 690 to 708 to the dollar today. Well, just touching on that PMI number, it picks up marginally from 54.6 in January to 54.8 in February, so a little bit of an improvement there. I think what was outstanding, there was the improvement in the employment sub-index to above 50, so that's the break-even level, suggests that manufacturers are employing again, and it's the first time in almost a year that it has been above 50. Um, it's the last time the employment sub-index has been about, above 50 was about nine months ago. So that number is very encouraging um, going forward for the employment and the labor market in general. Um, we see that the employment, sorry, the manufacturing sector is likely to continue improving this year on the back of the fact that we saw um, the final quarter of last year manufacturing sector growing quite substantially and we see positive growth coming through and adding uh, positively to GDP for this year. Shireen, any concern in the market about the price index in that PMI? Because I know it's not just in South Africa. It seemed to be a global phenomenon that we did have that price index spiking quite sharply, and I suppose driven by those higher commodity prices. Um, indeed, that's correct. We saw um, the price indices in the PMI data in China, in the UK, in the US, all reflecting um, similar trends. We expect that the uh, PMI index, sorry, the pr price index of the PMI to continue increasing on the back of the fact of higher commodity prices and to reflect in higher producer and consumer prices later on in this year. Uh, vehicle sales numbers for February out today, and we saw that really nice uh, movement upwards in vehicle sales last year. It's continued through to January. What are you expecting for February? We're expecting an increase of about um, 12 to 15 percent um, in February on the back of the fact that February sales days are um, mostly lower than January and December months at about 24 selling days per, um, per month. But we do expect uh, the trend in uh, passenger car sales to continue on the back of the fact that household incomes are improving, we have a low inflation profile, and interest rates are also at 36-year lows. So it's a general increase in consumer spending.